What's up guys, welcome to the Crypto Elephant. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to bridge, which means to move cryptocurrency from one blockchain to another. All right guys, let's go. All right, guys, so we are back in the Brave browser. This is assuming you already watched the video before this on how to add blockchains, how to add new blockchains to your MetaMask wallet. We are going to be moving crypto from the Avalanche blockchain to the Phantom blockchain. So normally the way I used to do this is I would, let's say I was, if I had Avalanche and I want to swap it for Phantom and move it to my Phantom wallet, I would have sent the avalanche from my wallet to my KuCoin account and then I would sell my avalanche for USDT and then I would have to buy Phantom with USDT and then I would send that Phantom through the Phantom blockchain to my MetaMask. Sometimes it takes a while sometimes you can't do it because if KuCoin has a certain blockchain blocked you're not able to move stuff sometimes the Binance Smart Chain goes down sometimes it takes hours for you to do this so I'm going to show you guys a quicker way and cheaper way to do it. And so far it's been a lot faster and it's super convenient. So let me show it to you real quick. So we're back in the Brave browser here. And if you guys haven't added the blockchain to your MetaMask, I recommend you go back and watch my video on that. I already have all the blockchains here and I already have some AVAX in my wallet. So I'm going to move this AVAX and I'm going to turn it into Phantom. FTM token. So what we're going to be using is Elk Finance. I saw, uh, I learned about Elk Finance from watching uh, Steven the Calculator guy. If you guys haven't uh, watched any of his videos, I would definitely recommend you watch his stuff. He's very smart. He's, uh, he pushes, his videos are really easy to understand and that's why I really like him. He has a pretty good in-depth video about Elk Finance on his channel as well. So we open it up, it's Elk.Finance not .com, just elk.finance. If you go here, you can actually go through and read the light paper and read some documentation, read the roadmaps and go to their socials. What we're gonna do is we're gonna jump straight into the DAP. So if you look in the top right corner here, you got the DAPP, that stands for DAP. It's a decentralized application that runs on the internet. I already clicked on it, so I'm gonna open up the new tab here. So this is my first time using it with this wallet. So if you see here, at the top right, it says connect to a, a wallet. So I'm going to connect for the first time. I hit connect. It's going to say MetaMask. The pop up like always comes up and it's going to say connect with MetaMask. So make sure that it's the right website app.l.finance. And since I'm the one that clicked on it, I know that was correct. So I'm going to hit next and I'm going to connect to it. Now that we're connected, it knows the balance I have in my wallet and everything like that. So the way Elk Finance works is it helps you bridge coins to a new blockchain bridging is another term for like moving crypto from one blockchain to another the way elk finance does this is by using their elk token they have their own token and the and the token is available on different blockchains so what we're going to do here is we're basically we're selling our avalanche for elk which that means that they're able to move that elk to the other blockchain because it's their own coin in their own uh, blockchain and everything in their own ecosystem they can move it across so you don't lose um, one thing I really like about it is it's for well, one thing is really fast but another is that you don't have to worry about that like sometimes I'll send Binance from one account to another and it might take an hour or two with other apps well in that time you might have lost value in the coin you know like it might have go it, if it goes up that's great but if it goes down in those two or three hours you lost money with this elk token, it stays pretty much about the same price on all the blockchains. So you know if you send $100 of elk from the Avalanche chain, you're gonna get about $100 of elk on the Phantom blockchain. So what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna swap this here, because at the top is showing that I have elk, but we wanna, we wanna do Avalanche to elk. So we're on the left side where it says swap, and we're gonna hit this little middle, the little arrow right here in the middle of the screen, that swaps the two coins back and forth if you see like this and at the top i'm going to pick avalanche 
So it already recognizes I have one avalanche in my wallet. And if I hit max, it's going to do the max. I don't always, I don't like to do the max because I always like to leave at least like 0.1 uh, avalanche in my wallet. So if I hit max, it's going to do 0.99. I'm going to do 0.899 just to leave a 0.1 in my wallet. I always like to leave a little bit because I don't want to be stuck trying to do transactions later on and then I don't have enough for gas. Gas is what the blockchains use for, for transmitting all these transactions. So we're going to trade 0.89 Avalanche for 31.59 Elk. I'm going to hit swap. If you see down here, the liquidity is 0 0.00267 AVAX, which is not much at all. That's why I like AVAX and I like Phantom. They don't use a lot of gas. You don't pay a lot of fees. So we're going to hit swap and it's going to tell you to confirm everything. Sometimes if you take too long here, you get a little pop up saying that you got to up, uh, approve it or update it because the price changed. But we're going to hit confirm swap. MetaMask is going to open up asking if you're sure you want to do this. It's going to show you the gas fees and you hit confirm. Now we just got to wait on it to go through. In the meantime, you can do add elk to MetaMask if you haven't done that yet. And that'll do another pop up and it'll add the elk token to your MetaMask wallet. Because remember, we're changing Avalanche for elk. So now Avalanche, well, if you did it all, then you wouldn't show any Avalanche. But now if I open up my MetaMask wallet, you'll see that my AVAX went down from 1 to 0 0.10. If I click on the assets here, you see I have 0 .1, 0 0.10 AVAX and I have 31.59 elk. So at this point, now we can go to, we can hit close here. And then this is when we're actually doing the bridging part. So if you go to swap here and then right beside it, you see it says ElkNet. So you got ElkNet. And then it's going to tell you, it says here, cross chain transfers are currently in beta. Please only send one transfer at a time. Current limitations only support transferring elk. So we're just moving elk across the, the network. Max elk is 10,000 elks per transfer. And it says minimum two minute between transfers. I've actually noticed that it's faster than that, but it is what it is. It's got to tell you this stuff. So we're going to hit max. And then I've noticed it does this little pop up thing. Sometimes I just got to hit refresh if it doesn't refresh automatically. All right. And now what we're going to do here, we're going to, it still hasn't loaded my balance, but in the meantime, I'm going to see, you see where it says select target chain. You're going to click on there and this is where you pick where you're going to send it to. So right now we're connected to the uh, avalanche chain. Remember we clicked on it earlier and it asked us for the permission. Well, these are all the different chains we can send the money to. We could put it on the Binance Smart Chain. We could put it on the Kronos, Elastos, Phantom, Fuse, Harmony, which is awesome because I've had a lot of trouble finding ways to get stuff on Harmony. I don't even recognize Hoi or Huobi or that one, Huobi Eco. KCC is a KuCoin chain, Polygon Matic, Tillos, XDAI, Moon River. So you got a lot of different choices, but we're going to Phantom. So we're going to click Phantom. My balance shows up now, so I'm going to hit max. I recommend that you hit swap elk one for gas. That way, when this money gets, when this token gets over to the phantom blockchain, it converts a little bit of your elk into phantom automatically for you so that you can have at least enough to do the, the swapping that we're going to have to do next. So since this is my first time uh, using elk for anything on this wallet, I have to approve it first. So I'm going to hit approve. These are usually pretty cheap. So you see it says 0.10 cents. So we're going to hit confirm. You can always click on your MetaMask in the top right corner. And then you're going to, you can check on the activity. If you're on assets and then go to activity, you can hit approve here and you can see that it's going through. So there it goes. It went through. So now approve is done. Now we can actually hit the transfer. So we're going to hit transfer another pop up. This one's going to tell you your fees, your gas fees and all that. We're going to hit confirm. And then I'll open up MetaMask and just see what's going on with my transaction. It's still contract interaction is still pending. So it hasn't went through yet. I still have my oak in my wallet, but soon that'll disappear when it goes through. So contract interaction, it went through. If I look at my assets, they're soon going to disappear from here. Yep. There they go. They just left. Yep, so you see I have zero elk now in my wallet 
and my AVAX went down a little bit because I used a little bit of gas to do the transaction. And then if you look down here on the bottom of the page, you have some information about what's going on. So it says latest transfer. I'm transferring 31 out to the Phantom with gas and it's initiated. So let's see how long this takes. Like I said, it doesn't take long usually. All right, we're just sitting here waiting. Oh, there we go. So it said it just completed. So now if I go up to MetaMask, like I said, the zero L that disappear. And now if I go to Avalanche up top and I switch to Phantom Opera, you'll see that I have 1.7457 Phantom in my wallet. But you see, I don't have Elk in there because I had to import that token first. So to do that, I am going to go back to the swap on the left side. The next thing we're gonna do now, basically, I'm sorry, is we're swapping now the Elk back to Phantom. So we're gonna go back to swap on the left side. We make sure we're connected to the Phantom blockchain. It is, if you see at the top, it says Phantom. We're gonna go ahead and pick the token we wanna to go to. So we wanna hit FTM. And you see now it does show it on the app because Elk recognizes that we have, Elk Finance recognizes we have the Elk in there. So we're gonna hit Phantom and we're gonna do max because now we are gonna swap all of our Elk for the FTM token. So we're gonna hit swap and we're gonna hit confirm. So sometimes, oh, there we go. I knew something was going up. So we have to approve it again because now we're on the Phantom chain. Earlier we approved it on the Avalanche chain. So we're gonna hit approve. We're gonna hit confirm and that one only charges one cent because Phantom is a lot cheaper compared to Avalanche. And it's usually a lot faster I've noticed too. Yeah, so it just went through. All right, so now we just gotta wait on this swap button to pop back up. Sometimes it takes a little longer than usual. So sometimes, there it goes. Sometimes if it doesn't come up right away, you can just hit refresh on the page it'll refresh everything and then again you just have to pick the token again FTM let the page connect to my wallet because you see it's still showing that zero elk sometimes it takes a little longer than usual there it goes my balance is 30 I'm gonna hit max and it's gonna it's gonna swap 30.59 elk for 53.42 phantom so I'm gonna hit swap I'm gonna confirm it I have to confirm it again on my MetaMask. And then we don't have to add FTM to MetaMask because it's already the, the token for the Phantom blockchain. But if you see here, the swap is done. Now, if I open up my MetaMask, the contract is done. If you go to assets, it automatically added Elk to the token list to it. But now you see that we have 55 phantom tokens. So that is how you basically move tokens from one account to another. Uh, I've, for example, been buying Hector Dow. Hector Dow is a, a coin that I'm very bullish on right now. So a lot of the times it's very difficult for me to get FTM tokens into the phantom blockchain because sometimes KuCoin won't let me do it or sometimes it just takes too long. So I'm really liking this Elk Finance because it allows me to do it in just like under two or three minutes. I think the longest it's ever took is five minutes and you're able to move stuff back and forth. Now, if I wanted to move this Phantom back to Avalanche, I would do the same thing. Sell my Phantom for Elk, bridge it over to the Matic or to the Binance Smart Chain or whatever it is. Once I get to the new blockchain, then I just swap it back for whatever token it is. If I'm going to Binance Smart Chain, I swap it for BNB. All right, guys, I hope this helps you out. I hope this makes it easier for you to bridge cryptocurrency across different blockchains. Remember to like, follow, subscribe, and to share this with your friends. And if you have any more ideas or anything else you want to learn about, write them down in the comments. Thanks, guys.